Modern theater, what does it have to do to catch the audience's attention? Pure experiment, shock, or the depths of meanings in extraordinary forms of stage and performance? Watch next how the novel 1984 by George Orwell was interpreted in a new way by director Vlada Bielozorenko and the troupe of the Splash Theater. I had been looking for the material which would be mentally close not only to our audience, and we immediately agreed that we should stage the story by Orwell, which is eternal, as every decade it is repeated somewhere in the world. Now it's in Ukraine, and tomorrow it will be in some other country. We have staged such a performance for the first time. We had an idea to create something which would be understandable not only to us. It's an international format, without words. Anyway, we selected plastic arts, and it's a trend. People like when it's brief, fast and clear, and this project was created especially for international festivals. The performance, based on the iconic novel of the 20th century, 1984, by George Orwell, was created by director Vlada Bilozorenko, choreographer Katerina Lukyanenko, and actors of the Splash Theater troupe. They chose such an ambiguous material for the first time and staged an anti-utopia by a famous English writer in the form of plastic arts. The audience appreciated the unique performance, long-lasting rehearsals, hard work of actors and preparations before each performance made this spectacle extremely successful. The preparation process lasted six months. It included very serious and complicated training. All that you will see on the stage is only a small part of the preparations. It was nothing more than a tech rehearsal. Here you need to convey the message without words, but with your body and your facial expressions. You need to live it through during rehearsals. It wasn't easy. The rehearsals were difficult. Workouts are the most difficult. They last two hours. They are longer than the performance itself. We work out abs, jump, run and do push-ups. We do it to successfully perform on stage for more than an hour. It's our preparation. It was an experiment in which we selected the actors who were playing in our studio and the main requirement was good physical shape. A choreographer worked with us for six months. She was driving us hard, bending and breaking us, but in the end we staged a plastic performance. Back in 1949, George Orwell wrote his famous novel in the genre of anti-utopia as a warning about the threat of totalitarianism. It's no coincidence that both the novel and the film with the same name were banned in the USSR by the 1990s. The novel was also boycotted in the West because of the similarity of one of the Soviet leaders with Big Brother. A young Ukrainian director had chosen the material, which is over 60 years old, in the novel. She found something which worries people and remains relevant to the present time. The topic is immortal, no matter when the book is read and the performance is staged. It was very important for me, the topic, the time, the country and the language. What kind of world is presented to the audience in this performance? Who are its characters and what is hidden behind their demonstration of emotions and feelings? The authors of the performance immerse the viewers into a strict system headed by Big Brother, who is always watching you. A small cog in the system's wheel named Winston Smith, who works in the Ministry of Truth. He doesn't stand out from the crowd, but his thoughts are extraordinary. He can't take living in accordance with the existing rules. Once Winston meets Julia, who supports the same use as he does, all is well, but even thoughts cannot be hidden from the system. And it means that Smith and Julia are going to face a difficult choice to resist or break down. What kind of world is this? Gray. This world turns into an attempt to find, an attempt to betray. People turn into real beasts, because everyone wants to survive and everyone wants to save their lives. It's a state with its own laws and security agencies, whose task is to make everyone live in accordance with those rules, thoughts and standards, so that no one could be different. It's easier to manage the state and its people in such a way. A large frame is our big brother, the idol we worship and we believe that he is the messiah. Smaller frames are people who are close to him, but they are not as small as everyone else. It's all about standards, similarity. We can't look right or left, only straight. We live the same life, we believe that we are happy. The frame is our happiness, we see the world through this frame. 
And this is the world in which you can't show your true emotions, have friends and be interested in something other than work. Day in and day out, the residents of Oceania wake up early in the morning to go to work at one of the four existing ministries. Everyone has to fulfill their civic duty and glorify their leader, Big Brother, as he is their support, love and the meaning of life. He is everywhere. Oceania is constantly at war with neighboring countries. Every day people die. Huge resources of the state are spent. All the information about people's paths is erased from their memory. Big Brother and his invincible epoch are the only things that matter. Along with satiric elements of the novel, the authors of the performance put an emphasis on the leitmotif of their version. According to them, the love of Winston Smith and Julia is the main driving force of the performance. All other events are somehow connected with it. The protagonist lives inside the system and cannot grow spiritually inside these boundaries, so he starts to break them. With the help of what? It's love, which is a counteraction to the political regime of this imaginary state. Despite the fact that they knew it was dangerous, that it could end up bad, they gave in to their feelings and loved each other faithfully. A lot of various events happen in life of lovers who dare to violate the rules of Big Brother. Everything is embodied on stage with the help of the body language of the actor's troupe. The plot line of love is the key driving force in the fight against the system. We decided that it would be love. It is not only intellect, will or desire for freedom, but love that gives them strength to move forward together. Nothing can be shown in this world, neither feelings nor friendship. They can marry, but they don't have love. And when they do feel sincere feelings, they can't always show them. The culminating scenes of the main character's tortures are among those that evoke the strongest emotions. Katerina Homeluk and Vasil Velkshar made it through the trails on stage. There were no words, only gestures showing pain. Only the gestures of despair in the audience sat still in silence and a state of complacency. They tried to break me down, but I managed to withstand everything. Physical tortures are shown in this scene because there are also inner worries when a person is being broken down. How else can this be shown? It's about an inner split and external factors. For a woman, it's probably rape. After all, what can be worse for a woman than rape? My role is a simple cog in a wheel. It's a person who is completely suppressed by the system. And what is more, this character is constantly in fear. He's also an ordinary citizen, but an ordinary person in this system. But the thing is that he's not a sadist. He is forced to be one. He performs dirty work. It's the system which makes him do so brutal. It should be said that Vyacheslav's role is not pleasant at all. He isn't just a negative character, but a murderer and rapist. And the actor had a lot of work to do. He used Stanislavski's system in order to be convincing in difficult scenes. He came up with a backstory for his character. It helped him to justify the violent actions of a slave of the system. There is a backstory there. Even the director doesn't know it. I imagine that my character's parents are held hostage by the ministry, and I realize that if, for example, I don't rape the main character, they will torture my parents. I have a simple choice, and I go on stage with all that. I can imagine everything and anything I want to. At first glance, it may seem that it's easy to play in a plastic performance. Actors don't have text and they have to learn. But actually, it is much more complicated and not every artist can play such roles. 1984 is the performance that brought success to the Splash Theatre troupe.
In this performance, the emphasis is put on emotions, because when you don't have a text, everything you work with is your body and the atmosphere that the actors create on the stage. Yes, a lot is based on sound. The entire performance is built on sound and light. Of course, it's a very important component. I had to play a man who tried to change the system. There were betrayers and the girl I loved. And this confirmation, it just broke you inside. How to fight against it? It wasn't easy. As it's a plastic performance, I wanted to talk, but we didn't have that opportunity in this genre. That's why I turned into a dog. In fact, my character is tied to the worst. The tragedy of my character lies in the fact that she couldn't survive all that violence around, which in the end finally broke her down. Before staging such a complicated performance, the actors thoroughly studied the novel, compared the eras, made parallels and analyzed the character's behavior. As a result, a metaphorical performance was created. It is so powerful that it inspires the viewers to reflect on their own lives. Vlada always said, of course, read the book, work on your character, just look around now and you will see that currently the system exists as a part of different regimes. I believe that the performance is easy for perception and it leaves an aftertaste. I'm sure that after the performance people will be musing over some concepts, analyzing, thinking, and that's great. Because the thought processes have started in the heads of people. Включились процессы внутри каждого человека. The novel ends tragically. Big Brother wins. George Orwell showed the system which can easily cut the worldview of a person to pieces and create the necessary element of a society. But Belazorenko, as director, managed to see something bigger than fear, lies and total control in Orwell's book. She saw the hope, the prospect of a free future, everything the writer put in implications and the unsaid words of his characters. An optimistic ending of the performance is a life-affirming celebration of freedom and love. We did break the system and there is another world where we can transcend the boundaries, breathe fresh air and feel the rain pouring down. You feel brand new feelings outside the frame. At the end, a new generation appears. They perceive everything around them differently. They are beyond the boundaries and the system. They are happy to feel real emotions. If to speak about Orwell, there is a collapse there, as he wrote it. And Vlada Belozorinko speaks about hope with the help of love. Yes, at first glance it seems that the ending is pessimistic. I just came to the guys and said that I didn't believe this person could write such an incredible novel and put a period to it. I believe that it was an ellipsis. We just can't see it when we read fast. For me, this ellipsis is very important. It's an ending with a look into the future. I really want all of us to strongly believe in a better future after the performance. Vlada Belozorinko created a performance which would be understandable to viewers all over the world. She was looking for universal material for a performance without words. And the fact that she selected 1984 by George Orwell confirms her directorial flair and creative vision. We went to Spain. There were viewers from 10 to 15 countries who spoke different languages and they understood everything. They came to us, we spoke English after the performance and everybody told us that it was great.